Today, we're back at our grocery store. Last time, we sold our first product, hired our first employees, and asked you guys who you think should be head manager. Today, we'll find out. But we've also got a health inspection coming up, so like the video if you think we'll pass. Yeah. All right, guys, back at the grocery store. Time for day two. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to be the manager. No, well, I'm going to be the manager. Well, guys, speaking about manager, the results are in. Last video, we asked everyone to comment who they think should be head manager, and we've got some very interesting results. I will say. Okay. Well, who won? Well, it was actually a tie between two people. Wait, really? A tie? Ooh. Yep. The first person that people wanted as manager was Cam. Oh, let's go. I knew it. I'm totally the best manager. Oh, okay. So it's between me and Cam then. Well, Ruby, it's actually between Cam and me. That's who people wanted as head manager. Wait, what? What were they saying about me? Well, um, Ruby, I, I, don't, I don't think you want to know what people said about you. <laughs> Wait, what were they saying about Ruby? I want to know. I, I, I don't, I'm not sure if you guys want to know. Wait, Tell me, tell me, and you have to know it's about me. Well, Ruby, I'm not gonna lie, everyone's set to fire you. Wait, what? Mm, yeah, I don't think you're becoming head manager anytime soon. Oh, come on, I wanted to be manager so bad. But guys, hold on, it's the middle of the day right now, customers are gonna start rolling in, we gotta open up the store. Alright, I'm hitting the store open button. Wait, hang on, we still need to decide the manager. Yeah, wait, we can't just decide on a tie, uh, I gotta be the manager. Um, I don't know about all that, Kim. I think right now what we gotta do is stock the shelves and get ready for the customers. Look, they're pulling in. I don't know, Cam. I think Dash might actually be a good manager. How come you decide? No, 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 no. We've got to find this out the right way. Huh? What's the right way? Are we going to fight? Today, we're having a competition. Oh, good idea. I'll be the judge. And wait, guys, we don't have time for a competition right now. We've got customers, and our first employee just showed up. Remember Olivia from last time? She's arrived. Hold on. we got to assign her on a task. Olivia, you can be at the checkout. I'm already at the checkout, Dash. Well, Kim, get out of the checkout. we got more important things to do. Olivia's here. Well, I'm, I'm checking people out right now. Ooh, wait. It looks like Kim's winning the competition. What? How is he winning the competition just because he's doing checkout? He's not even doing checkout. Out. I thought you said you wanted the customer on. And never mind. I, I, I got it. I got it. Okay, but here, guys, we got to keep stocking the shelves. And okay, hold on. We also need to order some more products. I think we're running low on a few things. Let me go ahead and order some flour. We're going to need some washing powder. Um, let's see. Oh, we're going to need a little bit of these beverages. Beverages? That's good. We need to fill up our fridge. Yeah, that's the fancy word for beverage. But anyways, let's go. The store is looking pretty good. We got some money coming in. We got the customers walking through the doors. Wait, guys, we should set our goal for this video to get $1,500. But wait, Dash, how much money are we actually making? Wait, what are all of our prices? Mm, hold on. Let me check. We can change our prices. Let's see. Wait a minute, guys. Our prices are only a little bit higher than how much we buy our goods for. You think we should pump them up? I think we should try. We, we're not making any money, right? Yeah, wait, hold on. We're selling our milk for the same price that we buy it, guys. We gotta pump that up. I'm making it a dollar more expensive. A dollar might be a little bit too much, though. Nope. We gotta get these thick margins, boy. Um, guys, we don't have enough shelves for any products. Oh, I gotta, I gotta, I'll, I'll do it. Let me just, uh, excuse me, Dash, back up. Uh, get out of the computer. What, what are you doing? Wait, didn't Ruby just say we don't have enough shelves? Yeah, exactly. So get out of the way. I gotta order stuff. Hold on, hold on. Wait, what, don't you think we should order a shelf first? Wait, Cam, weren't you supposed to be on the cash register? Yeah, I've got to order the shelf since I'm the manager. I already ordered the shelf. Cam, I already ordered it. Don't order another one. But hold on. Did you just leave the checkout? Hey, we got a line building up here, Cam. Let me put Olivia on checkout. Olivia, you're on checkout now. Cam, you can't just leave the checkout without telling anyone. Huh? I was busy, dude. Well, you should have at least put Olivia on checkout. You had a job and you left it, dude. And wait, where did all of our money just go? Hold on. We had like $500. Why do we only have like 130 now? Wait, I ordered stuff. Duh. What in the world did you order? Oh, that's the shelf that I ordered. Hold on, let me go put that down. The shelf I just ordered arrived, but Kim, what did you order? Uh, I ordered the right shelf. Dude, we didn't need that kind of shelf. What in the world did you order? Did you order like a fridge or something? Um, maybe. Okay, well, you know what? We could use some more fridges too. That's fine. Here, Ruby, we gotta stock up these shelves over here. And hold on, don't forget to be throwing your garbage inside of the dumpster. Oh, I just got hit by a car. Ooh, wait, Dash, you're being kind of bossy. That's like what a good manager does. Maybe you're winning. I'm just trying to make sure that the store is under control and running good. And Guys, why do we have a bunch of boxes just on the floor? You realize that if the random health inspection happens now, we're going to fail. The reason why we have boxes on the floor is because somebody's ordering too much stuff. And now we won't have that problem anymore. And oh, this is the shelf that you ordered? I see. Okay, that's not a bad idea, actually. Mm-hmm, I know. It's a great idea since, you know, I'm going to be the manager and stuff. I don't know about all that, but hold on a second. Guys, we got to upgrade our store level. 
If we can get to store level three, that would be pretty awesome because then we can start upgrading our store size. Look, we can upgrade the store size if we get store level three. That's too expensive. Wait, wait, wait. I just heard someone in here say something was too expensive. Dash, what'd you do to the prices? Um, you know, I made them more expensive. We only want the rich customers, okay? We don't want the brokies in here. Why, dude? We're not gonna have any customers. Well, no, we'll have the rich customers, okay? The poor people can go shop at the dollar store. Dude, no, we need to have this accessible for all customers, bro. I'd rather have less customers, but more valuable ones and oh we got a new fridge hey yeah now we can start selling more than just the blue and the red and the green milk okay but here guys we got to start stocking up the shelves ruby this shelf over here is like entirely empty i'm trying you got to stock them up faster it's just that the dumpster is so far outside it's making me slow wait hold on can we move the dumpster so that we can just put stuff in quicker uh we can't okay but guys we need to get 750 dollars that's how much money it costs to upgrade to store level two okay well there's not that much for me to put onto the shelves anymore so i don't know what to do. Well, Gam, you're on the computer. Order some products. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll order some products. Let's see. We need some of this, this, this. Uh, we'll have some backup of these. We have plenty of box citrus cakes. Um, yeah, okay, uh, ordered. Okay, wait, hold on. What did you order? Uh, just the stuff that we didn't have. Okay, sounds good. But guys, look, the health inspection, it's on its way. We gotta be prepared at all times. Um, when is it coming? It says coming soon. We have no idea. I'm pretty sure it's random. But wait, hold on. You guys think we should get another checkout counter? We've kind of got one checkout counter right now, and, oh, actually, we we don't even have a line. I think one checkout counter is good. Yeah, I think we need more products. I think we need more food. And, oh, our new products have arrived. All right, everyone, let's start stocking up the shelves. Wow, you sound kind of official, Dash. Oh, yeah. They don't call me Big Dash for nothing. I literally just told everybody to stock the shelves, bro. Well, I said it better. What? That guy just literally walked out because he said it's too pricey for me. I I've got to change the prices, Dash. Hey, the only prices I changed were the prices of the milk. Was he trying to buy milk or something? Uh, let me see. What do you have these prices set as? Dude, the apple cinnamon oatmeal is $1.50 more than we buy it. So? Oh, that's how you make money. Everything's just so much more expensive than it needs to be. Oh, let me fix this. Have you ever heard of luxury products? I'm trying to sell luxury goods here, okay? Luxury products equal luxury profits. Well, we're not having any luxury profits right now because nobody's buying stuff. Well, we're already at $500 and we bought a bunch of stuff, so I'd say that's pretty good. I'm gonna have to give you minus one manager point, Dash. What? Okay, well, hold on. How the many... store is for the people. Okay, okay, fine. Well, hold on a minute. How many manager points am I at right now? Mm. You're at like two, and Cam is at like one. Oh, snap! What? All right, well, I'll take that. How am I at one? You got it from leaving the cash register, and then uh, you got it from doing something right. Okay, but guys, we need to get $750 to upgrade to store level three. We're almost there. We only need like $200 more. Mm, we need to have more people in our store. How do we get more people to come into our store? Well, I mean, it's 4 a.m. right now. We've got a pretty decent amount at 4 a.m., but you're right. We need more. I've got an idea. Let's decorate it. Let's make it look, you know, let's make it look good. You know what? I I'll be in charge of the decorations. And don't worry, guys. Oh, I already ordered some decorations. Hold on, guys. Don't spend all of our money on decorations. You know that doesn't actually increase your money and everything, right? It's just for looks. What? I'm not gonna spend all of our money. No, no. Guys, guys, we gotta save our money. Stop ordering stuff. What did you order? Are you kidding me? Who ordered a rug? This rug... Hold on. How does this rug even look? This rug does not fit in at all. Guys, we're putting this rug in the back. This is horrible. Don't worry, guys. I've got the proper decorations coming by very soon. Wait, wait, wait. We just went from 500 to 350. Did you spend half of our money on decorations? No. I got approval from the manager, I think. Oh my gosh. We were so close to the next store upgrade. But here, guys, I got a good place for this rug. We can put it underneath the table. Ooh, that's kind of cozy. Okay, now we have to find places for all of these. Okay, hold on. What did you order? This is about to be crazy. Oh, why did you order so many cactuses? Okay, I'm going to put one right here. Ruby, I'm pretty sure one of the things that people commented about you is that they didn't like the cactuses that you ordered. What? No. No way. You must have read something wrong. I think I read something about that everybody hated the purple walls. Yeah, Ruby, nobody really liked these walls. Didn't you spend like $150 to make our walls purple? Yeah, why? Well, that is not a good use of money, okay? But guys, I think we've got enough product on our shelves. If we let this all sell out, we should have more than $750. And then we'll be able to buy the store upgrade. Wait, where's Olivia at? Wait, guys, I think our, our employee's gone. No, Olivia, come back. Her shift ended, dude. She's on break, bro. Oh, I'm looking inside of her head right now. She doesn't have a brain. Why are you looking inside of her head, I'm actually checking somebody out so we can make money. I was doing inspecting, you know? Hiring is a very important job. But anyways, I think Olivia is going away. But remember, we still have another employee who's gonna come later. Let's see. What was his name again? Oh yeah, John Anderson. <gasps> John Anderson, my mortal enemy. <gasps> He's here. Wait, Ruby, why do you got beef with John? He's trying to take my job. Okay, well, Cam, you can get off the checkout. John has replaced you. Yep, I was gonna do it anyway. Alright, well, anyways, now we just gotta wait for our money to go up to $750. No 
more buying stupid cactuses because that's just a waste of money. We need to get $750 so we can upgrade our store. Okay, I guess I'll listen to you since you might be the manager. No, he's not going to be the manager. And plus, we need to buy um uh, some green milk. Guys, we have an emergency. I got to change the prices. What's the emergency? Our shelves are almost empty. Wait, really? No, they're not. Only like half of them are. But wait, don't order new stuff yet. Let's get the store upgrade first and then order new stuff. Dude, we need $200 until we get the score, store upgrade. We're almost there. We're getting close. The store looks so empty. I'm ordering backup stuff. Okay, fine, fine. You can order some more products, but no more ordering cactuses, okay? Those things are way too expensive. Wait, Ruby, how much do these cactuses cost even? I think $50 each. Uh, $50 for a cactus? I got five. Wait, they're $30, but why would you spend so much money on that? You know how many milk cartons we could have bought instead of that? Um, uh, ten? We could have bought, like, two crates of milk cartons, and each one has, like, a bunch of milk cartons in it. We could have bought a lot of milk cartons, Ruby. Look at how many milk cartons. Speaking of milk cartons, our delivery has arrived. We could have bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-three, twenty-four. Twenty-four times two milk cartons. We could have bought forty-eight milk cartons, Ruby. Bro's doing math. I guess I'll give you plus one manager point since you did math. Oh, I'll take that. I was doing the statistical analysis to check our pricing. What? He gets a manager point for that, and I don't get a manager point for actually buying stuff that we need to sell? I don't I'm still waiting to see if Dash is gonna prove himself. Okay, but guys, hold on. Look at our money counter. We're almost at $750. You know what that means? We're getting close to the store upgrade. You guys need to organize these shelves better. There we go. That looks nice. Okay, but guys, once we upgrade our store level, we're gonna be able to order even more goods. We're gonna be able to buy more drinks. We're gonna be able to buy breakfast biscuits, and we're even gonna be able to buy sugar. Wow, so exciting. I love breakfast biscuits. The amount of citrus cakes that we have is kind of crazy. Yeah, I think we gotta go easy on these red citrus cakes. People don't really seem to be buying them. But guys, look, we're only like $10 away from the store upgrade. Oh, this is about to be beautiful. I've been waiting all my life for this. All your life? Wait, what? Yes, I was born to be in the grocery store business. Wait, can you guys check out one more customer? I, we gotta get 750. <gasps> we there get we 750! Alright, time to level up. Boom! There we go! We got store level three. And we have $10 left. Isn't this an exciting moment, guys? We gotta celebrate. Yeah! Wait, how are we gonna celebrate? Well, we gotta eat some of our products. Anyone want a citrus cake? Oh, I just picked up the whole shelf. What? Dude, we can't eat our own products. I wanna raise. I wanna raise. No, no, we can't pay ourselves yet, guys. We still barely have any money. Oh, come on. We can only start paying ourselves once we get to a million dollars. And wait a second. Wait, buying the store level three, what does that do for us? Pretty, um, Pretty much, it lets us buy new stuff. Like, now we can buy breakfast biscuits biscuits and burritos and we can also upgrade our store size but that costs like a thousand five hundred dollars there's like a ton more stuff that we can buy too uh i'm just gonna buy this stuff that we don't have we need 54 dollars yeah buy some of the new products did you order it nope we need 54 bucks okay well here olivia keep on checking out the customers it looks like olivia wait this isn't even olivia this is john my bad i'm sorry for saying the wrong name they're both bald so it's okay they kind of look similar i think they're like dating why would people date if they looked similar i don't know but wait are we allowed to have people dating at our store no Okay, yeah. John, I'm sorry to break it to you, but you gotta break up with your wife. Wife? They're married? No, no, please. I need this. Wait, is John talking? No. I didn't know he talks. Wait, have you guys ever heard his voice before? What are you talking about, dude? No, John doesn't talk. What are you talking about? Guys, I promise you just talked to me. But hey, guys, these new products are looking clean. We got the caster sugar. Oh, yeah. Let's drop that all over there. Why is this guy just standing in the front of our store? I don't know. I guess he's just an enjoyer. He's staring at the logo. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Is that the health inspector? Wait, is that the health inspector? Guys, lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in. Guys, 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 it could be the health inspector. Do we have any empty boxes around here? Um, no, okay, everything's looking good. Everything's looking good. We have milk that's not on the shelves. Uh, uh, hold it. Make it look like you're about to take it to the shelves. Hold on, hold on, guys. I'm gonna adjust our prices because I'm pretty sure we didn't change the prices for the new stuff that we bought. Yeah, the caster sugar is literally the same price that we buy it for. We gotta make that more expensive. Okay, I'm gonna see if he's still there. He's walking around. Is he walking around inside of our store? Wait, what? Wait, there's like five of him. What's going on? He duplicated himself. Guys, it's a mutant health inspector. Oh my gosh. Oh my okay, just act natural. Guys, he, I think he's gonna take the milk back home and test it. He's gonna analyze it in his basement lab. I think I saw a lab test kit in his pocket. Oh no, he's got all of his brothers, his, all his twin brothers are here with him. There's one, two, three, four of him. N now he's testing John Anderson. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Wait, I think he just asked John Anderson an, an interview question. Look at how much money we have. Um, plus, we're out of stuff. Hold on, buying stuff. Yeah, we're getting a lot of money. These new products sell quick. Dude, our shelves are so empty. What if we get a minus point on our health inspection because of I don't know, but wait, Kim, does it say anything about the health inspection on the computer? Um, it just says coming soon. Wait, 
that's not the guy? Okay, maybe that wasn't the health inspection, but we gotta be prepared at all times. The next time we see someone, it could be him. I guess that was just a normal family that all looks like each other. I guess they cloned themselves. But anyways, guys, we got a bunch of new products. We gotta put these all on the shelves. Yeah, let's make sure all the shelves are organized so that it looks better for the customer. Oh, wait, hold on. Now that we're store level three, does that mean we can buy more employees? And oh, you guys, we need store level four to buy more employees. The next employees that we can get are Sarah Thompson and Daniel Garcia. Who? Thompson? Yeah, there's a P in it. Thompson. It's Thompson. You mean Thompson? Thompson. It's a T-H and a P. Thompson. Thompson. He's my son. Hi. Huh? Okay, I guess you're a very interesting manager to work under. Okay, but anyways, guys, the next thing we need to get is $1,500. And then we can expand our store. I really want to see what the store expansion looks like because um, there's 10 of them that we can get. Sounds like you're always thinking about store expansions. Yes, because we must expand and conquer, okay? Store size 10 costs um $8,900. We, we don't have that right now, but I want to see what store size 2 is going to look like. Conquer. First thing we need to buy is another fridge. Whoa, wait. I see you moved the shelves over here. I like that. It kind of looks like a warehouse. Yeah, I put them there because it'd be easier to reach stuff. Ooh, true. We won't have to run all the way to the back of that room to get all of our stuff. Who ordered more milk? We have so much milk. Cam? Uh, it wasn't me, dude. I haven't ordered anything in a while. Oh. My goodness. <gasps> wait, guys, we can get a stocking cart now. It doesn't look that cool, but we can get it. Wait, wait, wait. What in the world is a stocking cart? I think it's stuff that we can put like a bunch of stock on and then walk outside and start stocking a bunch of stuff. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. That actually sounds kind of useful. What? Uh, whose idea was it? I have to mark this in my competition sheet. Oh, I'm pretty sure that was Cam's idea. I'm not going to lie. Okay, plus one point for Cam. Now you're two and two. Oh, uh, what? This is not good. I need to get more points than Cam. And wait, hold on. I just heard one of the customers say something was too expensive. Dash, you need to change the prices. All of the prices are just fine. They're barely more expensive than... Um, okay, hold on. Maybe this the caster sugar could be a little bit cheaper. Let's make it $2.75 instead of $3. And wait, this drink over here is selling for the exact same amount we buy it for. Let's make that a little bit more expensive. Same with these breakfast briskets. There we go. Alright, nice. Now all of our prices are looking pretty good. Um, there's some stuff that we're missing from the shelves. Can I buy stuff? And, oh, yeah, Ruby, go for it. What are you gonna buy? Uh, I guess I'll get some bean soup in the... <gasps> Don't get any of the red stuff because we have a lot of that. Definitely don't get any of that. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. I'm not going to get any of that. Oh, snap. John Anderson just got up and left our checkouts. For, like, it's, it's stocked up. Wait, wait, wait. Where is John Anderson? Yo, he's outside. John, what are you doing? Hold on. Look in the top left. You can see a little health bar for him. Is that like his tiredness level? What is he doing? John, John. John, guys, he just got on a bus. He's leaving. No, 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 no. You can't leave. You're supposed to come back here. Uh, guys, John just left. Wait, we got Olivia, though. Oh, wait. Was John supposed to leave that early? It's literally still daytime. I thought he was our daytime worker. I think so. All right, well, here, I'm putting Olivia on checkout. There you go, Olivia. And wait, Ruby, did your new stock arrive? Oh, yeah, it did. Okay, nice, because we're missing some stuff on the shelf, so we're definitely gonna want some more stock. Let me just put all this over here. Perfect. Right here. What the? How did you get a drum set? Oh, I bought it! What? what in the world? Why? Why do we have a drum set inside of our store? How much did this cost? Oh, look at this. This is awesome. Ruby, what are you doing? Oh, okay, hold on. I need to check on the store right now. How much did this cost? Why is there an instruments tab on the store menu? Ruby, did you spend $100 on drums? I can't hear you over my drum rolls. You spent $100 on this drum? Give me this. Give me this. Give me the drums right now. Yeah, get, get, get yes. out the drums. I'm stop, sorry, stop I can't doing hear you. Ruby, I you're gonna make the customers mad. Anything. The customers are gonna get mad. Ooh, I'm I'm a one girl band, baby. Oh my gosh, we're at, this store is actually going bankrupt. Oh wait, you got off the drums. Give me that. Wait, I'm throwing what? this out. No, I'm throwing don't. it out. No. Oh. All right, in the dumpster where it belongs. Ruby, we don't need drums inside of a grocery store. It's just going to be loud and all the customers are going to leave. Okay, I'll put it in storage. Yeah, put it in storage for now. Or maybe you could play it. <laughs> Ruby, what are you doing? This is oh, a drum class. Yeah. This is not time to be playing the drums. What did you say? I, I, can you stop? Okay, you know what? Game, how about... Uh, let's just turn off the lights and just... Can we close this door? Guys, we need stuff stocked. What in the world? This is uh, this kind of getting out of hand. Okay, wait, Ruby. What if you go in front of the store and play the drums? If you can actually like play them and make a cool song then maybe that'll get customers to come in wait you're really letting me do this yeah yeah you can do that <gasps> Okay, um, plus one manager point. Let's go, but wait, no, Ruby, do it outside of the store over here, not in the middle of it. It won't let me put it down out there. Um, okay, fine. Actually, just go in the corner over here. No one needs anything back here, so yeah, you won't be treating anyone. Um, guys, I think Olivia may not be cut out for, um, the checkout position anymore. Oi, why is that? Look at the line she has. Well, that's just because we're busy. I think Olivia's pretty good. I don't know. The line's going outside of the store. It may be time to either get another checkout or get rid of Olivia. She is a little bit slow. I'm not gonna lie. All right, well, here, guys, we still have a lot 
of empty space on the shelves. We gotta stock these up. We cannot have any empty space. All right, guys. Let's just keep on stocking shelves. Look at how much money we've got. We're already at $1,000 almost. We're at 700 Yeah, I think what we need is um some more upgrades. Yeah, I think so, too. We gotta expand our store. Mm, let's see. What do we need? I think expanding our store will make more customers want to come in, right? Because they'll see a bigger store, and then more people will just come in because, you know, they assume it's better. I think that we should have more shelves and more products. That'll bring in more people. Yeah, more shelves would be pretty nice, too. Wait, Cam, you want to order another shelf? Or should we save up for the $1,500 store upgrade? I think we need to buy more stuff right now. But we're at $800. We're so close to the store upgrade. And I just spent 100 bucks. Okay, what did you spend 100 bucks on? Did you buy another drum set? Stock. No, we need stock. Okay, fair enough. We do need some more inventory. Hey, Cam, are you on the drums, too? What are you doing? I I, I want to I wanna, I wanna figure out what's going on. Okay, dude's having some downtime. That sounded really good, actually. I'm gonna give you plus 0.5 of a manager point. Wait, 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 wait. He's getting manager points for playing the drums? That's not even productive for the store. So Dash is at three, and then Cam is at two and a half. Okay, as long as I'm ahead, then this store won't go bankrupt. Okay, um, maybe I need to do some interviews with you guys or something. Interviews with us? Yeah, to see, like, who's really best suited for being a manager. Okay, um, uh, Cam, it's your turn for your interview first. Come on. Oh, okay. You're really gonna go and interview us, Ruby? I don't think this is a really productive use of time right now when we're- Dash, stay out of it. Oh, let's go to the front so Dash can't hear. What? Oh, okay. What in the world are you guys interviewing about? All right. So what is your goal here as a manager? Uh, to make as much money as possible and also clean up after you. And what is your plan to do this make money as possible? Uh, to, uh, oh! Oh, not get hit by a car. My first goal is to try and stock the shelves so there's never any, uh, dead space in the shelves. Okay, okay. And then my second goal is to, um, probably get rid of Olivia Wilson because, um, she's not the greatest at checkout. All right, well, here, let's just keep on stocking the shelves. Let's put this apple oatmeal here and huh? what is this olivia wilson needs a break are you kidding me okay okay hold on you know what i'll take over olivia don't worry i got you i gotta take care of the employees you know what olivia you can take a break dash is trying to expand the store way more aggressively than you what do you have to say to that i think that um the store needs to be expanded but um i think we also need to make money before we can try and expand mm. Okay, okay, I'll consider that. Thank you. Oh, hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta pay this person's credit card. Let me just do... Hey, Dash, we're done. It's your turn. You guys are done with your interview? Well, guys, um, uh, Olivia kind of needs to take a break. She kind of quit mid-job. Okay, well, Cam, you go on the register and I have to go interview Dash now. Come on. I got it. I'm getting an interview? Okay, hold on, let me leave. Okay, out here, Dash. What are we doing out here? I saw you doing this with Cam. It's actually too stormy. Let's go inside. Yeah, why is it so stormy? It looks really scary. I'm not really sure. Okay, back in this corner. Come on. Okay, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. What are you gonna interview me about? I would like to know your goals as a store manager and how you would be a better store manager than Cam. Um, Oh, my goals as a store manager? Well, number one, we got to divide and conquer, okay? My goal as a store manager is to build the biggest grocery store chain in the world and have stores oh. on every street. Okay, okay, okay. That's a lot more ambition than Cam. He just wants to keep the shelves stocked, I think. But uh, how are you going to do that? Isn't that kind of hard? Well, what we're going to do is just serve the customers the best we can and reinvest all of our money in buying more store upgrades. And that way, we'll never fail. Okay, I have a more important question. Uh, how do you feel about Olivia Wilson? Olivia Wilson? Wait, hold on. Was that the one that Ruby liked? Uh, uh she, she's horrible. I don't like her. I'm thinking about firing her. Ooh, okay, okay. Um, and, uh, how are you gonna fire her? Um, I'm probably gonna get a bottle of Pepsi, shake it up, and then give it to her. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I think I know who won this. You get plus one point. Let's go! All right, well, I think that interview went pretty well. I had to use a little bit of lying, but I think it worked. Why do we have so many crackers? That's a good question. Wait, we've got so many of these breakfast crackers over here. Mm, these things look good. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to try one. No, 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 wait, no. You can't eat our stock, Dash. It's, uh, it's against rules. I'm not gonna eat it. I was just saying that I wanted to, okay? I'm not actually gonna do it. And wait, hold on. Guys, Olivia Wilson's slacking again. Hey, Olivia, get back on the check. What are you doing, dude? Yes, yes, yes. Yell at her! Yell at her! Oh my gosh. She's leaving. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Olivia is kind of a wimp. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she's getting on the bus and leaving. John is here, though. Hey, John, how's it going, dude? All right, Cam, you can get off the shelves. I'll put John on checkout. Can I buy more um shelves? I want to buy more shelves. Please, can I buy shelves, please? No, 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 no. We don't need any more shelves. We're pretty full. I'm buying a dumpster. Wait, 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 wait. A dumpster? No, guys, come on. We're only $400 away. Ruby, did you just spend $200 on a dumpster? <laughs> it was $400, and she just bought a dumpster. It was $400? We were so close to getting the next store upgrade, guys. We were only, like, 500 away. What? It was only like $160. Oh, 
$400? The dumpster was $400. No, it wasn't. Hold on. How much does a dumpster cost? Let me take a look. Store expansion, storage dumpster, $150. Okay, that's still pretty bad. Oh, now you're fact checking me, huh? You don't trust your employees? We already huh? had a dumpster. Why'd you buy another one? <laughs> Our one dumpster was perfectly fine. Because I'm going to put it inside. What? No, no, no. Ruby, we're literally going to fail the health inspection if you put the dumpster inside. No, we're not. Do you know how bad that is? There's going to be flies and worms everywhere inside. It's going to be only for cardboard boxes. Yeah, but what if the cardboard boxes get like worms? <laughs> oh, Cam got locked out. Okay, but guys, we only need $500 until we can get the store expansion, okay? Come on. No more spending money until we get that. I think we need to buy another fridge, though. I'm not going to lie. Wait, hold on. I can sell the drum set for $50. My stuff is almost here. You know what? I'm selling the drum set. Don't tell anyone about that. There we go. Oh, we just got $50 out of nowhere. And wait, Ruby, is that the dumpster you ordered? Are you serious? Yes. Move. Are you really going to put it inside? Why would you do that? Wait, how much can I sell this for? <gasps> I can sell it for 75 No! Okay, fine, fine. We can leave it there. I'm not gonna lie. Actually, the dumpster wasn't a bad idea. This way, we don't have to travel all the way outside to throw our cardboard boxes out. I guess it was a decent investment. What, here? Dude, we're gonna fail the health inspection with it being there, dude. No, we're not. We're not gonna fail. It's only gonna have cardboard. Oh, true. The health inspection is a good point. I kind of forgot about that. You know what? How about we at least move it in the corner over here? But then you have to go into the corner to throw it away. Mm, true. That is a good point. Okay, what if we just put it like right over here next to the store checkout button? But then I'll have to go over there to throw Okay, fine, fine. We'll put it in the exact same spot it was before. There you go. <laughs> I win. Guys, we're only $300 away from getting the store upgrade. I'm so excited. Are you guys excited? I'm pretty excited. Wait, double check our prices. Is everything okay? Yeah, I think all of our prices are good. Let me just double check. Yep, everything looks pretty good. We're not selling anything at a loss. Oh, yes, we are actually. We're selling this stuff at a loss. Guys, I have a, I have a confession. Yeah? What? I think that we're overspending a little bit. Maybe on the cactuses, yeah? I think we might need to fire Olivia Wilson. Why do you want to fire Olivia so bad, Ruby? We'll fire her later, okay? First, let's get this store expansion, guys. Once we get the store expansion, it'll also make it easier to hire more people because, you know, people are going to see the big store and go like, ooh, I want to work there. Well, I'm sending John on a break and I'm going to go on checkout because John's getting tired. Whoa, wait. Cam is showing empathy for his employees. Maybe this deserves a manager point. It does. It does. That is not a good strategy to increase employee productivity. Here, guys, check this out. What I'm going to do instead is give John a little bit of sugar. Hey, John, here you go. Eat some of this caster sugar. Yeah, take that. Take that. All right, there we go. That is not good. Now that he's all hyped up, let's get him on checkout. All right, Cam, he's getting back to checkout. He's, he's got a sugar rush now. He's all hyped up. Mm. That's an interesting strategy. Maybe I should give a point for creativity? No, I was the one that sent him on break. Wait, guys, I, th I think there's an energy drink over here. Hold on, let me give John a few of these. Yo, John, take a sip. Come on, go on now. Maybe uh, take, take a few bottles, maybe. I'm just gonna give that to John. He can have that. Okay, well, when can we have this store upgrade? I think people are getting bored of these products. Well, we only need a hundred more dollars. Oh, someone just spent money. Now we need 200 more dollars. I spent money on products. Okay, that's fine. We're not getting a store upgrade. We're getting a store expansion. I think it's just gonna make the store bigger. What? I want a store upgrade. The next store upgrade cost a thousand. Wait, should we get the next store upgrade or the store size upgrade? Probably the store upgrade. No, 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 guys. We should get the store size upgrade. Trust me. Store size upgrade will be worth it. No, if we get the store upgrade, then we can sell more stuff. It's not even crowded in here. Yeah, but if we get the store size upgrade, then we can literally fit more stuff inside of the store and sell more stuff. Yeah, but we're not selling anything new to make more money. We're selling the same stuff that we are now. Yeah. No, no, guys, trust me. It's going to be a good move, okay? It's going to be a good move, and it's going to look really cool. Okay, here we go, guys. We only need 20 more dollars to upgrade the store size, and <gasps> we can do it. All right, guys, you ready? Okay, do it. Uh, we're going to upgrade the wrong thing, but do it. It says, are you sure you want to expand your store to store size 2? After that, you will no longer be able to downgrade. <laughs> yep, yeah, let's do it. All right, guys, we've now got store size 2. Wait, does this place feel bigger, or is it just me? It's bigger. Oh, Oh, it's so spacious. Look at all this empty space that we've got. Oh, this is beautiful. I still don't think this was the right idea. We lost all that money and now we can't even uh, sell more stuff. We just got all the money back. We've already got $67. We can buy all of the stock we need with that. 67 is not a thousand. This is more than enough, but now our store is much bigger. Oh, even the back area here has been expanded. We need more shelves. This middle part is too empty. Yeah, yeah, we need a lot of shelves. Ooh, we can have actual aisles in our store instead of just having these shelves on the walls. I'm gonna buy some. 
Um, Let's do it. See, guys, I told you the store upgrade was going to be a good move. Okay, well, I'm going to buy some more stuff. And then now we can't, we can't afford the shelves anymore. And oh, guys, John Anderson is here. You can get on checkout. Actually, he can't. One second. Oh, uh, wait, did you just move the checkout? Now he can get on checkout. How'd you move it? I like the old spot. Because this is more efficient. Yeah, people can line up inside the store now instead of lining up outside. Okay, but anyways, guys, let's stock up the shelves. We got some more product to stock. We need more shelves because we're kind of running low on shelf space. Ooh, well, at least we're filling everything. Yeah, true. We're doing a pretty good job of that. I guess I'll just put everything from the truck inside. And wait, guys, once we reach level five, we can get self-checkout. So we won't have to have more employees. Ooh, let's go. Self-checkout is going to be awesome. And then we can fire Olivia Wilson. Yep, yep. Sure. And then we can fire Olivia Wilson. <laughs> Dash, have I told you that you're my favorite manager? Wait, really? What? He said that he was going to fire her. I can't believe that our judge is biased because you want uh, someone to be fired. What? I never said that. I'm just saying that if we fire fire olivia wilson then we can get self-checkout and you know um move the store forward see he knows what i'm talking about you're making the wrong decision dude all right well anyways guys it's getting pretty late and i think there's a storm happening outside i think it's time we finally decide who the head manager is going to be yeah there's a sandstorm we should probably decide it now yeah yeah we should probably decide it quick well ruby you are the judge who's gonna be the head manager well cam you did pretty good in managing the store but you didn't really have a vision for where we're gonna go yes i did no you didn't think about expanding as aggressively as Dash did. So I think Dash is better. Are you serious? No way you think Dash is actually a better manager because he wants to fire Olivia. Let's go! Now that I'm the head manager, this store is gonna be the biggest store ever. But first, I think we should get inside because there's kind of a sandstorm going on outside. Let's uh, let, let's stay inside. Maybe we should close. Maybe, actually. That's not a bad idea. I think the weather conditions are getting a little bit dangerous. All right, guys. The store is closed.